creek is insane flooded. A thousand likes and we'll bog it. What's going on guys? So I'm sorry for clickbaiting you like that, even though it's kind of true. It wasn't in the video, but um, yes, yeah, so we got to talk about some stuff. So if you saw the night with the boys video, we went riding. It was perfectly fine for like hours. I went to, it was like an 18 minute video, perfectly fine. I went to bed, wake up the next day and there's a bunch of comments saying why so short, 48, uh, 58 seconds. And so for, I don't, this is the second video. I did another video that was like 14 minutes long and it ended up being cut into like three minutes. So I don't know what in the world's going on with YouTube. It's cutting my videos down. They're perfectly fine for hours. And then I just wake up the next day and they're like a, a fraction of what they were. And that's extremely disheartening, especially on something as long as an 18 minute video that it took me forever to edit. It took me a long time to go through all that footage, edit. It took forever to upload. I'm talking about like a full day to upload on my Wi-Fi. It doesn't make sense that it's fine for hours and then it's just gone. Obviously, I really can't post any videos because they they might just be crazy. So I'm trying to contact YouTube. I've got to wait until I contact them to see what the deal is because it's not worth posting it because then I, let's say a thousand of y'all see it normal and then it's messed up for everybody else and they just they don't watch it and then when I re-upload it you've already seen it so you don't watch it again and it's just it's not worth it I have I've got to figure out what's going on um, and then secondly this is almost just as big if not bigger um, yesterday y'all we all saw y'all seen the headlight tent video so yesterday I was gonna film the how does it affect your headlight things on the way home from work? And I'd filmed a time lapse inside the truck and everything, and I thought, oh, it'd be a great idea, stick it on the side, because you can't see a great perspective from inside the truck. So I stuck it on the door. The truck's pretty dirty, so I know this is what caused it, but it went like, to, and I'm watching it on the GoPro app on my phone. I'm sitting there watching it, making sure everything's cool. It looked great, it had the, the rock lights on with the headlights. It was, it was looking super awesome. And then the freaking GoPro falls off and the truck behind me that was like a half a mile behind me ran it slap over. I've, let me just show you. It's freaking done, dude. It is, it's so done. And the worst part is it didn't even say what it was filming when it got crushed. So the SIM card was still in it. And I was able to turn around and get it. It crushed my case. It crushed this, everything. The SIM card was still intact and it does work, but it didn't save what it was filming. So it didn't even get the, the truck hitting it or nothing or anything. GoPro, I think this was the Hero 5. I had a Hero 2 and then I got this one to like really start doing YouTube. And that was a couple years ago, and now it's freaking done. And y'all know I do a lot of my videos from in here talking to y'all, so it's just, it's done. I mean, that's just not salvageable at all. This is, that's just trash right now. So that is my current predicament, and it's pretty big. I mean, I can't even upload videos without them getting messed up. And now I can't even film videos. All I have my, is my phone, and I can't just stick my phone. I mean, I guess I could use one of the pro clips or something, but I really don't want to do that. This is what's going on. I don't, I'm going to have to take a little break to get stuff figured out because I've got to get an answer to the whole videos being cut short thing because it's just, there's no reason for that to happen. And I just can't spend half a day working on a video and getting it uploaded only for it to last a couple hours and then get cut down to a fraction of what it is. That's just, the channel won't survive doing that um so i've got to figure out that and um yeah now i'm i'm go pro list so i'm only i'm down to holding my phone and that's just not not cool so uh be patient guys let me know if you have any insight i'm sorry i don't know what the crap's going on what the deal is but um yeah this is the current predicament and uh i guess i'm gonna try to contact youtube today I'm also going to throw in some random footage here just for y'all to have something to watch. Um, but it's kind of random scattered, just random things that I filmed in uh, the truck or whatever. And uh, don't really have a main video or blog or anything for them to go to. 
nothing for a specific video of themselves, so I'll just throw it in here. Bruh, y'all see that? Little deer. Nah, bro, y'all, oh, there's two. Y'all get, y'all get out of here, bud. I like, I like the front of my truck, on the front of my truck, but. Okay, thanks. Any of y'all have a railroad track that you have to go across every day and you've actually never seen a train go by? been going this way for like 10 years and I've never seen a train cross right here. So I'm just getting gas. Popo's got someone over right there. Y'all ever get scared? I mean like my truck's not that illegal but like it's got stuff that if they wanted to you know pull me over they could. It's just kind of sketchy. I all like the sticker. Sticker bomb's getting, ooh, ooh, getting good. Some 2019s for y'all. A gray one and a red one. I would get out, but it's like super busy here. So they're actually pretty slick looking. I'm not even going to lie. I actually dig it. Has, uh, has the 2019s grown on y'all? Kind of grown on me i kind of dig the fronts i don't dig fender flares but other than that it looks pretty good y'all let me know what you think <clears throat> bro this thing is huge the quarry machine boy 